Hello and what is going on you guys? Hyperion Blue GT here. Time to get ready to go for the final race in test season 3 of the 2022 series in the Gran Turismo World Series Nations Cup on Gran Turismo 7. So here we are right now. For round 3 in test season 3 will be taking place at Suzuka Circuit for only 15 laps by the number of players up to 16 in the formation start type by choosing 5 of the group 2 cars will be ready to go to be specified between 3 Super GT 500s from the 2016 Super GT season along with the McLaren F1 GTR race car 1997 and the Mercedes-Benz CLK LM 1998. Well, I hope you guys are looking forward to have the final race because of May 8th we'll be doing a celebration of Mother's Day. Well, I hope for every Gran Turismo players who really have to come up with some good excellent card, gifts and flowers to have some good love to your mothers will be giving a nice cheerful and joy for every moment. So right now, the regulation is going to be very challenging. We'll be doing two types of required tire. We'll be doing a mandatory requirement medium racing and soft racing compound tires will be labeled to be on the check mark to have the BOP slash tuning forbidden will be turned on for every specified group 2 cars for only 5 cars with the exception of 3 super GT race cars from the 2008 was being absent. What we'll make sure it's going to get much challenging and quicker to go faster to have many turns up to 18 around in Suzuka. We'll be going in to take the final challenge until the official 2022 series will be set to be scheduled coming soon along with the 2022 Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup as well. So I hope I could probably have to choose the best recommend group 2 car is the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 2016 to be put up as a check mark, we'll be at the go to have a nice recommend livery besides UDRS in Sportech. But I have to go with the Total Drama World Tour. Team Chris is really, 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 really hot. We'll be doing a spotlight. We'll be debuted in GT7 for the final round of the Nations Cup. BOP regulations will be set up automatically to be at the go between three kinds of Super GT race car, including two GT1 race car. But it's going to be so much excited out there for every GT players who have already got one of the two GT1 race cars from the late 90s as may ever seem to be purchased from the Legend Car dealership. So get ready. This will be a very good excellent battle for the final round at the end of Test Season 3. As always, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go and click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the final race and let's begin. The final raid in the 2022 Series Nations Cup of the Gran Turismo World Series. Group 2 cars are now ready to go for having a good time to be on the daytime in Suzuka Circuit for today's forecast. Here's Mugen in first place, Jack Rabbit 75 in second place, third place is Firefox.gov is now going in at the bronze, PhD Racer is here in position number 4, Manuel Polanco is now arrived in position number 5. Jay Florentino in the Honda NSX Concept GT in position 6. Here's myself in 7th place. JR Mustang 03 in the Lexus RCF GT500 in 8. Jed Tigale is in 9th place. Crazy ACN is here as well on position 10. Ant Hope 1268 arrives in position 11. 
Pupip throws Locos in 12th place, and here's Woody in 13th place. Next up to have Racing Hobo in the BMW McLaren F1 GTR race car. Rat Flinked will be take the 15th place at the last. 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit out there in Suzuka Circuit, folks. But this is going to be a perfect rolling start to be on the cutscene. To have 15 laps, we'll go around to have one pit stop. We'll be having two required tires. We'll be at the go for having a mandatory requirement. We'll proceed forward. So get set and go faster to be on the high limit to make your mark when you're closing in onto the top three position is going to be a very good excellent competition for only three seconds until the final round will go underway is going to become much magnificent to have the celebration on may 8th we'll be doing a celebration of mother's day happy mother's day you guys this race is always meant to be having a best of luck to all of us to be on a clean racing competition for the Nations Cup in Test Season 3 as the final round. First turn clear onto turn number 1 and 2 and kick it up onto the S turns we will be going in smoothly. Team Total Drama World Tour in the Nissan GTR GT500 is going to be turns out to become much debut in Gran Turismo 7 after having some long seasons to be delayed from GT Sports. But here comes Jay Florentino takes position number 6 by enter sector 2 at the danger curve to be on turn 8 and go for turn number 9. But uh oh, looks like Manuel is now going slowing down after taking the late braking by underneath the bridge to go for the recovery after having too much late braking pressure. Turn number 10 and 11 on the hairpin in sector 3 is clear. Now, for only six drivers are currently to be running around onto turn 12 before coming in onto the spoon curb at turn number 13 through 14. That makes a very good shine chrome design variation to be in the same from Jeep to Sport for Team Chris is really, 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 really hot from Total Drama World Tour. But it'll make sure to see some several GT players can actually have to take on with a single Total Drama livery in this lobby. But now here comes the final sector in lap number one to take the out and out. JR Mustang 03 is going to get closer to be on the Cascade Triangle on to turn 16 to 18. But here comes the contact. That makes one GTR Nismo GT500 is now going to be dropped down to a different position to be moved on in lap number two without having a fastest lap time to be on the lookout. So keep your eyes checked, folks. Lap number two is going to be faster to be on the most finest race on Suzuka for the Group 2 class, especially one GT1 race car in the BMW McLaren F1 GTR is now welcome to be in the race. But it's going to get much possible to have one more GT1 race car is the Mercedes-Benz CLK LM 1998 is also to be part of it as well. But it might be possible to have an optional event specific card to be well temporarily for GT players to be well tried out. So now let's go on to take turn number 8 at the danger curve. We'll be keep up forward to be on turn number 9. Jay Florentino in the Honda NSX Concept GT is currently on the number 4 spot. We'll be entered on to turn number 10 at the hairpin through turn 11. But the soft racing compound tires will be at the go, will be well used to be capable to have some good separate ways to be some methods. We'll be doing the mandatory requirement by having one pit stop available by the choice. So let's go up and take turn 12 before follow up onto the spoon curb onto turn 13 and 14 coming in the way. Faster paces might be turns out to see how Team Chris is really, 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 really hot from Total Drama World Tour in the Nissan GTR GT500 race car from the 2016 season is going to be doing much quicker and faster to be well improved along with Team UTRS in Sportec will be labeled to be as an absent just to be as a substitute for a single Total Drama fan art livery in Gran Turismo 7 We'll be coming in all the way to have all different kinds of cars with Total Drama liveries to be part of my main project, Vision Total Drama, the next chapter of the Total Drama fan art to support the community. Now let's go dive in onto turn one at the first corner. Looks like Jed Tegill is here in about 0.4 seconds behind. Now for the S curves, we'll be going smoothly onto turn number three. 
four, five, up to six, and go for turn number seven. It is going to get much correctly to have some good racing mobility as a 2016 Super GT race car in the GT500 class. But we have Firefox.gov lap time is now going faster in one minute, 50.742 seconds is now on the lead. Very good job out there for Firefox.gov is now entered to be on the number one spot. But Mugen is now going to have to take number two in the silver position to catch up to Firefox.gov to be in the lead by having a gold medal position. Stay on track, PhD Racer is now entered onto position number three at the bronze to catch up to Mugen and Firefox.gov. But looks like Jack Rabbit have left the lobby for only 14 drivers left standing. But we'll make sure to see how Racing Hobo in the BMW McLaren F1 GTR race car is now climbing up to be currently in position number 8. Looks like he's going in on to turn 14 at the end of the smooth curve to take the straightaway. 5 Super GT500 race car from the 2016 season takes the out and out before moving on to take turn 16 to 18 at the Cascade Triangle in Suzuka Circuit but still takes much techniques out there to go right in and follow the line and go for the pace at the end of the third lap before moving on in lap number four. There we go, looks like Firefox.gov is now going faster to be on the maintain pace to beat his lap time in about a minute and 50 seconds by the decimal. But still get much further out there for faster GT players is gonna have to go faster to have the high limit will have to go capable to master every turn in Suzuka to be on the daytime condition on the afternoon. But the sun will might have to move forward before the twilight will be get closer for the final lap. That makes the bright and sunny day to have some good chance that the clouds will be moving around smoothly before the late afternoon comes. Lap number four goes in. Team Chris is really, 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 really hot from Total Drama World Tour is currently to be on the number 5 spot. Still going at it to be on the Racing Soft Compound tires will be at the good current usage before doing the Medium Racing Compound as the second main required mandatory. The quality is going to get much yellow so we have to keep an eyes check before this part of the video segment turns out to have further 100% perfection to be part of the racing highlights. So let's go right in. Dive in on to turn 14 at the Spoon Curve for Team Chris is really, 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 really hot from Total Drama World Tour in the Nissan GTR GT500. Straight away to go forward at the end of Sector 3. Now for Sector 4 to take the out and out corner to go quicker and faster to take turn 16 at the Cascade Triangle for the entrance. That's the spirit, turn 17 clear. Now for turn 18 to go on to the final turn without having a penalty is gonna be good check and clear. Lap number five goes on viewers. 10 more to go remaining and this will might have a single pit stop. We'll be on the ice check for a reminder notice. So let's see how things might be going on out there for Jay Florentino in the Honda NSX Concept GT500 race car. Still doing good out there to be on the S curve to take the 7 before entered onto sector 2 again at the Dunlop curve. Very good. Sector clear for Team Chris from Total Drama World Tour to have the Dunlop curve moving on the way. 2.6 seconds remaining on the gap before proceed onto turn 8 at the Danger curve. Turn 9 turns out well and smoothly in to have a straightaway to proceed forward on to turn 10 at sector 3 at the hairpin before doing turn 11. Lineup is the practice just like the Super GT500 race car at Suzuka for the 300km or 1000km as the endurance race. Oh. Turn 12 clear. Now let's go on to the pace to be at the spoon curve again. Gonna have to go dive in. Almost had enough in about 3.4 seconds to go increase by 0.5 seconds of the decimal. 
Jay Florentino is now gonna have to go forward while Mugen takes the lead by overtake Firefox.gov along with PhD Racer to be ended up on position two and three at the silver and bronze position. But it will make sure to see how one Honda NSX Concept GT will have to step things up to go on a pace to catch up to the top three drivers before moving on in lap number six. But still takes much progression to catch up to beat Firefox.gov's lap time for only a minute and 50.742 seconds at the decimal time in total to go faster to be achieved. Gonna have to go for the outside turn for the recovery. Team Chris is almost barely had the chance to stay on the grip to be on the soft racing compound tires before Ted Gigil comes in to be in the scene in about 0.9 seconds to go increase. Gonna have to keep build up the defense. Faster times will might have to go further to buy some time for only one Total Drama World Tour livery. We'll be doing the spotlight for many spectators, including one Total Drama contestant who always knows about Japan. But that's right, you guys. Hero knows about Japan is a very good proud tradition of the country itself. So now let's go on to take turn 10 through 11 at the hairpin. Team Chris is really, 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 really hot in the Nissan GTR GT500. It's currently to stay on in position number 5 while Jed Tegel in the same car is now going in to take the battle. Let's see how two Nissan GTRs can battle out each other at the spoon curb on to turn 13 and 14 on the way. That's more like it, straight away, and Jed Tegel has the opportunity to catch up to only have one Total Drama World Tour livery will be get closer to be on sector number four. But heads up, two Nissan GTRs will be step up and go for turn 16 at the Cascade Triangle without having a contact. And there's Firefox.gov's Enter the Pits will be doing the first one to go right in. That's the ticket. Have position number four for team Chris is really, 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 really hot to be reached up for only six drivers to be currently to be well behind. Three drivers are still coming in onto each other to take the battle to be on the S curves before at the end of sector one until moves on in sector two again to be passed to the Dunlop curve. However, for Team Chris, it's really, 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 really hot from Total Drama World Tour in the Nissan GTR Super GT500. Could probably have to stay on the edge of the grip. We'll be doing a further reminder notice. We'll be stopping in to be at the late afternoon before the sun moves around until the dusk time. We'll be coming in at any moment. Turn 9 after taking the danger curve to proceed and go underneath the bridge on sector 3 to take the hairpin on turn 10 through 11. Very nice and very good well endurance technique by only a half weight mark gauge in 50% remaining folks. Better make sure to have the low fuel usage. We'll be doing one last skin of its teeth to take the final stretch. We'll be at the finish line until the twilight will be coming in at a few minutes away. But not to mention, Jared Tegel on the last minute is going in to take the offense to break through on Team Chris's current position at the gap in 3.7 seconds when taking position number 4 takes the out and out onto the final sector in lap number 7. There goes PhD Racer takes the pits by putting up the soft racing compound tires will be at the go. But clearly, for some most circumstances, for several GT players, by putting up the medium racing compound tires, we'll be at the main start of the go. That makes the alternate map dead, we'll be doing the opposite. Just like several racers, by putting up the soft racing compound tires, we'll be doing quicker and much advantage at this very moment. So now it comes in for Team Chris is really, 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 really hot in the Nissan GTR. Nismo GT500 2016 is moving on to take the number 3 spot. However, only two more to go remaining before into the pits by the next lap. We'll be doing a reminder check. We'll be doing a one minute penalty. So keep our eyes peeled. Let's go faster and go for clean racing to have the length of the usage grip 
for only a 50% remaining on the front and rear tires. That makes clear faster times might be going advantage for several drivers in about a few more gap distance to go, but looks like it's racing hobo in the BMW McLaren F1 GTR is now coming in to take turn number 10 in sector 3. Looks like a GT1 race car is now gunning right in to take the number 5 spot to be entered into the top 5 position. But it's getting closer on to Jet TKL folks. Position number 4, Will might have to stay on track before the McLaren is going to have to go right in to take the passing through. That makes a very good excellent run effort to see how faster for only one GT1 race car can take the battle with 2016 Super GT500 race cars. Brilliant and successful to see how Racing Hobo can go on and take the action. Now, looks like Jay Florentino is entered the pits by putting up the medium racing compound tires. And that makes Team Crisp is really, 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 really hot. Will be entered the pits as well. Time to switch up on to medium racing compound tires. Will be selected to be on the duration time. But it'll make sure to see how the determination is going to be well choiced up by the pick. So let's find out and see how the team will be switched up to have a different texture to be well fitted to be on the medium compound. There you go. Looks like it's good to be checked. Switched up correctly to be on the medium compound racing tire, folks. That's more like it. One minute penalty has been averred for only one Total Drama World Tour livery, and that means the good news will be perceived forward onto the final lap at the twilight in Suzuka. So let's stay on track by taking the S turns when doing the first turn on to corner number one and two. Out lap we go and stay on the line out there viewers. Looks like Mugen is now going in to take the lead and on going stronger while Jed Tegale is now currently on the number 2 spot along with Racing Hobo in the BMW McLaren F1 GTR 1997. That's the ticket. Let's see how Racing Hobo did its best out there to stay on the top 3 position to have a single GT1 race car along with two Super GT500 race cars from the 2016 season. But still, but anyone's race out there to be on the main moment to be in the late afternoon condition before the dust time comes. There goes Mugen to be on the medium racing compound tires before switching up onto the soft racing compound tires will go quicker and main advantage will be going much suitable grip to be on the tight technique to be in the terrain condition. Well driven in the asphalt and that makes PhD Racer is now in the lead along with Racing Hobo in the BMW McLaren F1 GTR takes the piss while Firefox.gov and Mugen is coming out onto the pits. That's more like it. That makes a very good excellent clear passing run moment out there for only one racer to take a different position while zipper drivers are in the pits. Position number 6 where Team Chris is really 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 hot from Total Drama World Tour takes the first turn onto corner number 1 and 2. And there it goes. 6.4 seconds to catch up to JR Mustang 03 in a different livery with a different GT500 race car is now currently in the progression at the end of Sector 1 before going in onto Sector 2 at the Dunlop Curve. That's how excellent race might be turns out differently to be on the move time condition, just like Gran Turismo Sport from last season to be part of the Nations Cup. But here it comes, just gonna have to stay on in to be at turn 9 at the Danger Curve. Turn 10 will be going forward again onto the hairpin onto turn number 10 through 11. Sector 3 we go and go for the offensive to catch up to JR Mustang 03 in about 5.7 seconds remaining onto the distance gap. But lovely how this race might be turns out incredible just like test season 2 in round number 8 for having a group 4 race. Just hang in there folks. 
This race will might have to go stronger for only 14 drivers left standing in the lobby around the track. Okay, looks like we have one car in the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 is meant currently to be overtake by the update check. Looks like it's all safe and back to normal for now, folks. No longer in the red and just gonna have to go for having a normal ride to proceed forward in the next lap. That makes a very good sight of relief. Lap number 11 is on the way for only four more laps to go and we're getting closer at the end of the late afternoon in the track. So we're getting closer on the JR Mustang 03 in about 5.2 seconds remaining. But however, we're gonna have to go quicker and much tighter to be on the grip to be well fitted on the medium racing compound tires for a single Total Drama World Tour team livery. But the blue chrome color might be quite going well to be shined up to have some decals in it. But that makes a very good excellent debut in test season 3 for the final round in GT7. It's going to be a perfect moment out there to have Vision Total Drama fan art liveries. We'll be doing the main support to be part in the Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup as well to be part of it. Might be depends on choose any kinds of specific manufacturer brands in the Group 3 class or Group 4 class to be well determined. So on the road we go and go dive in and push for the attack on 4.9 seconds in JR Mustang 03 on position number 5 before Team Chris from Total Drama World Tour Livery will be step up and go for the straightaway to have some excellent offense to go continue on to be in the pace. But looks like Manuel Palacio is now coming in in about 0.6 seconds to go remaining. There he is right now. He's about to go quicker to take the out and out on sector number 4 to take the turn 16 at the entrance in the Casquillo Triangle. One at a time, one car is going to have to do correction for the number. And there it goes for lap number 10, 12 to take the late afternoon. We'll be doing a dust time until a minute's away to be on the twilight. So let's make sure the headlights will be turned on automatically before the night time will begin. Gonna have to take the S turns. Looks like Manuel is here. Gonna have to push away and take turn number 7 correctly and go on to be having a good Dunlop curve on sector number 2. But here it comes. Manuel takes the offense, will be going dive in. It's gonna get quicker and go for turn number eight at the danger curve. It's gonna get much higher to be on the tough risk. No contact allowed. This is how one Total Drama World Tour livery will be step up and do a number one main goal to complete this challenge. Excellent turn strategy on the hairpin in turn 10 and 11. Manuel Polacolo is now going to have to stay on the offense while Team Chris is now going for the defense. But hold on, looks like this is going to get much squeeze in to be on the inside. Here comes the spoon curve to be on the next turn and there's the contact is on the way. Better make a good quick call. Looks like Jed Tegill is now going forward to take the pass and go right back to be on the push for Manuel in position number 7 to be on the side by side while Jed Tegill cross the penalty line to be forcefully to be on the slowdown in sector number 4 to be proceed at the end. But however, it might be quite possible to see how if Team Chris actually survives to have a 0.5 second penalty to be effect. Bomber looks like didn't see that coming because the out and out for the Super GT500 race car is always meant to be very careful not to ignore the track limit when entering sector number 4. But it's not over yet. This race will might have to take it all. Turn 1 and 2 at the first turn will be going clear again. But we'll make sure to see how quicker for Team Chris can actually have to stay stronger until Manuel Polanco in position number 7 will be catched up with only a few more distance to go remaining. After having one pit stop, we'll be proceeding forward to be in the main mandatory requirement by doing a different tire compound by the opposite. One tire compound at a time, 
one tire compound will be doing a correction will proceed forward to be on the finish line without having a one minute penalty and there it goes team chris will be pushing up away in about one second behind the gap before Manuel will have to stay right in to be in the range after doing the recovery. But it looks like it's about to get closer on to turn 11 after taking the hairpin before moving on into turn 12. Jed to kill is now going to have to go right in to be on the faster offense and take the pace before moving on to have 13 drivers left standing before Firebox.gov have left the lobby before at the end of the day. Here comes the hazard lights. Better be prepared. Manuel will be proceed on to position number five. He is about to go forward to be on the slow down pace. And that makes Jed to Gill is now going forward to be in position number six. And Team Chris is still in one piece to have position number five will be going in as well. Well, I cannot believe it. That's the ticket. That makes a very good, excellent, clear pass before JR Mustang 03 takes position number 7 to be dropped down when enter the pits before Team Chris moves on in position number 4. Excellent race, and there goes for Jed T. Gale and the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 with a different livery. So far, so close, folks. So very far close to see this kind of the Total Drama fan art is going to get much harder and quicker while one Gran Turismo player is now currently to be in the number four spot. So let's go back in and take sector two at the Dunlock curve to catch up to Jed Tegill in position four before moving on in turn eight at the Danger curve. It's about to go decrease 13% remaining on the fuel. We're almost there, folks. Dust time will be coming in to the end. Headlights will be turned on, and that means the twilight will be coming in to take the night time after the dust will be going in to be on the sunset. So now it comes in to have a one-on-one -on -one battle for only one total drama livery, along with Jet T. Gale with a different livery to take the battle for fourth place in round three in test season three of the Nations Cup in the 2022 series. So now it comes in for the update. We have Mugen takes the lead before moving on to take the final lap. We'll be doing one more showdown to have PhD Racer and Jay Florentino in the Honda NSX Concept GT500 race car is now moving on to take the final lap. It all comes down to this folks. That makes a very good, excellent, long distance battle out there for the top three drivers. We'll be currently to step up and go for the goal to be ended up into the top three position until it's going to be a very good, excellent first place winner. We'll be doing a good podium finish for Mugen. So now it comes in for the final lap, folks. The night time is about to go earlier before we take the twilight. We'll be going in to have a good moment to be on the sunset. Team Chris from Total Drama World Tour in the Nissan GTR GT500 race car is still currently on the number five position to catch up to Jed Tegill in 2.1 seconds remaining onto the main gap. But it's gonna get much closer out there to have the headlights will be turned brighter at the short moment. Mugen is now going to have to take the inside cornering before taking Spoon Curve at turn number 13 before the 14 comes in to be on the lineup. That makes PhD Racer is now staying on the edge to be in the Spoon Curve at the same turn after Mugen proceed on to the straightaway to take the final sector at the out and out corner in Suzuka. But one more push for Mugen takes that good excellent full final stretch before take the 16 through 18 at the Cascade Triangle until it will be a very good excellent successful victory win for Mugen to take the podium. And there it goes. Looks like the checker flag is going to be the perfect winner. Goes to Mugen. Is going to be the number one spot in round three at the end of test season three for the 2022 series Nations Cup. Mugen takes the win to be at the night time in the perfect moment out there folks. What in the absolute daytime before moving on to take the night time to be on this track. Very excellent and job well done for Mugen to take the first place winner. Now that's competition folks. Now that's an absolutely competition complete. 
PhD Racer have finished in second place. Jay Florentino done in third place. Jed Tegill is now ended up in fourth place. And for Team Chris from Total Drama World Tour takes the number five at the finish to be right at the checker flag. So brilliant and my tears are water up to have that nice wonderful victory moment to end it up in position number five. Good game folks, good race and a successful moment to, to be saved and replayed onto the highlight. In about 25 seconds left before the race over, so now we have Red Plink in the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 2016 is still running before doing the final stretch will be catch up. But it was a lot of incredible race out there for only two Nissan GTR GT500 race car by having a 1-2 finish to be labeled as the event specified car. But yeah, it was a lot of hard work out there viewers. But sometimes, penalty by ignoring track limit may be possible by having a 0.5 second is going to be well effect. So we'll make sure we have to drive carefully when we're racing in the Group 2 car next time. Alright, looks like daily workout is already complete. Now that's game you guys. Now that's a very good, excellent Group 2 race at Suzuka Circuit. A very good replay to be saved. And a good moment to be on the outcome for the temperature of 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit in twilight. So the winners of having a 1-2 finish in the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 race car in the 2016 season goes to Mugen and PhD Racer. And for the third place goes to Jay Florentino in the Honda NXX Concept GT 2016 takes the bronze position to have a very good different livery as car number 17. So congratulations you guys. I'll have to type it out and give a good name to be pronounced. PhD Racer and Florentino Alright, looks like we did a good job out there viewers. We did a very good absolutely job well done to have all kinds of different car liveries and event specified car including racing hobo in the McLaren F1 GTR race car 1997 as a GT1 race car class to be part to be racing with some good Super GT seasons from the 2016 but also to have a receive respond from Jay Florentino you're very welcome Jay Florentino that makes a very good excellent third place finish to have well used in the Honda NSX concept GT to be as a GT500 race car so I guess test season 3 of the Nations Cup is finally finished and come to an end before the next season is about to turn out to become the official or continue on to be as a test season for Gran Turismo 7. Well we have to find out and see. Well folks, test season 3 for the 2022 series of the Gran Turismo World Series, Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup have finally complete before moving on in next season. By the looks of it, I have captured an image to have three rounds on the Nations Cup is perfectly to be checked and complete to be highlighted to be marked in the green. But also to have my favorite moment in round two is Fuji International Speedway by using the Radical SR3 SL 2013 because it's going to be a three car showdown without any more Gran Turismo players to be joining session in the lobby due to the waiting times is going to be having a long wait before the race begins is going to get much reduced from 16 to 3 players will be participate to have 12 laps around in the circuit. That was one of my best moments in test season 3 of the Nations Cup. But what about my favorite moment in the Manufacturers Cup after at the end of April? May 1st at Trial Mountain Circuit for the Group 4 class is a very good perfect time to start out for having a morning time to take on in the afternoon for the final lap. 
It takes a lot of hard work to do some follow up to be as a main mandatory requirement for only one pit stop along with the required tire is going to be the number one main option. So I hope this is going to be the perfect time to get ready to go for another season along with the 2022 Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup will be scheduled by coming soon in round one. So let's go back to the garage and help myself for a good cheer up gift to be on the roulette ticket. But position number five is going to be doing a faster workout there to have one of my Total Drama World Tour livery on the Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 2016. But good thing I just also to be brought up from the Brand Central is going to be the perfect recommend car to be well imported from GT Sport to GT7. But I almost forgot about one of my Total Drama World Tour liveries is going to be my best recommend pick without a UTRS livery. So here I go folks, 3 star roulette ticket is about to go on. Let's see which prize should I get. It's gonna be 3 cars or a Gran Turismo credits. Of course, since I have 3 cars already acquired in the garage, so that makes another 10,000 GT credits will be added up onto my balance. Alright, so looks like it's going to be my perfect time to wrap this up before at the end of the video. I'll make sure I'll be ready to go to take on in the European Championship for the next event to be part of my full walkthrough in GT7. But there might be some more circuit experience with some high price credits to be on the bronze and gold is going to be put up to be part of it. But I'll make sure I'll have to put up to have a playlist to be focusing on with circuit experience. This is going to be the very good time moment we'll be doing some stacking up with some currency credits to be on the main update until version 1.13 is already still at the moment. But I'll make sure I'll have to get some more cars to be collected up onto the index. We'll be get stacked up by over 400 cars until I could probably have to get up onto 100 million credits. I have a job to do you guys as a YouTuber. I'll make sure I'll upload it round 2 and 3 of the Nations Cup will be scheduled by today. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS liveries, Total Drama fan art with card liveries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.